Hello, this is John, host of MGTOW is Freedom. Salut, guys. Ooh. Tonight's scotch is a Glenfiddich, 18 year. Very good. All right, the subject. I've heard this one talked about a lot. The subject is, it's a comparison between MGTOW and feminism. Uh, they love to say, feminists do. All MGTOW is, is it's the male version of feminism. Well, if feminism is so good for women, why are they fucking with us? Why don't they just let us have MGTOW? Right? Let that be our version of it. Or uh, how else does that get played out? Oh, they're opposites of the same coin. Well, no, they're not. So I want to swat this fucking myth down right away. I was going through comments earlier, which I love to do, and I saw, uh, you know, the little avatar on the, the right side of the screen, of one of a woman, a young woman, a cute little young woman who was wearing glasses, looked very much like a little college girl, trying to impress with her cuteness and smartness. So I'm going to put on my smart glasses. See, my IQ just went up 20 fucking points, went right through the fucking roof. Let's swat this one the fuck down. MGTOW is not the same as feminism. It is not the male version of feminism. It is not the opposite of the same coin. It has absolutely no resemblance to feminism. MGTOW is about going your own way. MGTOW doesn't want anything from feminists. MGTOW doesn't want to destroy other people's rights. MGTOW doesn't want to steal people's money. So really, let's take a look at what feminism does. Feminism teaches that the two sexes are the same. MGTOW does not. We say men are men and women are women. And they're not the fucking same, right? They're way off. But does that make them opposites? Well, maybe if, if you said everything about feminism is evil and everything about MGTOW is good, I guess they could be opposites that way. But that's not how feminists and white knights, too, uh, claim that we're the opposite, right? Or the opposite sides of the same coin, meaning it's just a different face, but it's the same thing. It is not. In fact, this video that the little girl put in her link goes to a guy's site. And it's got a MGTOW symbol, the road sign with the fork, and then a red circle and line through it. And it's a guy's voice. And he says, I don't agree. And he starts giving his shit. And he sounds like a fucking white knight. He sounds like someone's bitch. Feminism is not, I repeat, feminism is not the opposite of MGTOW. Feminism was started to destroy manhood, right? That is exactly what's happened, so that has to be the reason it was started. Because if that started to happen and they didn't want it, they would have changed direction. Feminism would have quit pushing their agenda and pushing it harder and taking more and more. See, feminism wants to take... Oof, Feminism wants to take from men. It wants to take our money. It wants to take our rights. It wants to take our self-respect. It wants to take. MGTOW wants to give. We want to give feminism all the fucking breathing room they want across the fucking country. MGTOW wants to give men an awareness of who they are, of their true power of their rights. MGTOW wants to educate men, make them more intelligent, so they can understand the social games they're up against. Feminism wants the opposite. They want ignorance. They want stupidity on the part of men. They want men to be simpletons and white knights, manginas and metrosexuals. They aren't on the same coin, men for men and women for women. Feminism is about destroying men. It is about the feminist attaching themselves to men through relationships and then extracting from them like fucking parasites 
your money, your personal time, your own will to live. They want to suck the soul out of you. And when they leave you as a dried up dead husk, they move on. Men, on the other hand, don't want that. MGTOW men don't want that from feminists. We want to be left alone in peace. We may like pussy and sex. We may find tits attractive. A lot of MGTOW find women attractive. They like certain aspects of women. But they don't want to give up their lives in order to enjoy it. That's the difference. Men, MGTOW, may want sex. They may want some sort of short-term relationship. But it doesn't cost the feminist anything in the way of money, all of her efforts, her time. He doesn't demand that she change her frame of mind in order to suit his agenda so he can use her the rest of her life. I don't see MGTOW doing that. For the most part, I see men going their own way saying, get the fuck away from me. This is not what I'm about. I'm not about giving myself up. I'm not about handing you my check and changing my life to satisfy you. Right? MGTOW men are different. Right? They're not about stupidity and, and giving up their lives. Feminism demands that. MGTOW is not only not about giving up their own lives, it's not about demanding from others that they do the same. Men going their own way, it almost is a call for introversion and isolation. Now, I'm an introvert. I don't know, maybe a lot of uh, MGTOW are introverts. I haven't really looked into that a whole lot. But feminism is about teaching women and promoting the idea that they are equal to men, all the while using men. Isn't that what feminism is about? On the personal level, never mind the national agenda or the secret conspiracy of feminism that I like to talk about also. Let's just look about how it affects us personally. The woman comes into your life and she uses you. She uses you to buy things, to pay for her, to pay for her food, her house, fix her car, to give to her. That is what feminism extracts from the man. What feminism gives through the woman is that just enough sex, just enough positive attention, just enough of what the man needs to get by. And it's never...